hello my dear students so today we are going to start chapter number 5 for class 9 that is fundamental unit of life right in class 8 we have already done that chapter cell cell is the fundamental unit of life so now in class 9 we will go to one step so if we discuss about cell we know that if we compare the cell with the brick as the structure of the house or the design of the wall depends upon the design of the brick so bricks are in rectangular form so if we will keep on adding more and more bricks that there will be a constructed rectangular wall right when we will use this so this is brick is the cell same the function of the cell in our body our body is made up of cell there are number of cells without cells we can't perform any function so cells they are all are composed of microscopic units cells cell is basic and structural unit of life study of cell is known as cytology it was first discovered by robert hook in 1665 the word cell was derived from a greek word cellule which means small room as we compare with the other structure of the honey gum first living cell was discovered by ab leonhoek protoplasm was coined by urkenje in 1839 protoplasm was discovered by felix josephin and named as sarcode its consistency differ from differs under different conditions so protoplasm is an aggregate of various chemicals such as water iron salt and other organic molecules so cell theory two biologists sladen and schwann gave the cell theory very important one more question can come that who gave the cell theory which was later on expanded by rudolf virchow cell theory stated that all plants and animals are composed of cells cell is the basic unit of life and all cells arise from pre existing cells that means cells are arising from cells which were pre existing already and viruses are the exceptional exceptions of the cell theory right types of cell and organisms on the basis of number we know that on the basis of number we can divide the cells into two category unicellular as well as multicellular unicellular means the body cell organism which are made up of single cell in these kind of organism the single cell performs all the vital body functions of an organism right whereas in multicellular we are having number of cells made up of numerous cells these cells combine to form an organ and group of organs performing different functions forms an organ system now on the basis of type of organizations on the basis of organization cells are of two types that is prokaryotic and eukaryotic prokaryotic cells primitive and incomplete cells they have less developed nucleus without nuclear membrane and example is bacteria and eukaryotic yeah. cells which have the well defined nucleus with the nuclear membrane cell shapes cells are of various shapes and sizes because their shape is according to their function so they may be spherical branch discoidal spinal shaped right cell size on the basis of size cells vary from micro to large like the size may vary from you can see 0.2 micrometer to 18 cm minimum or the smallest is you can say 0.2 micrometer just imagine micro means 10 to the power minus 6 same way size of typical cell in a multicellular organism ranges from 20 to 30 the largest cell is ostrich egg longest cell is nerve cell and the smallest cell is ppllo example or we can say mycoplasma 0.1 micrometer in diameter human egg is 0.1 mm in diameter now the basic components of the cell there are the three basic components of the cell one is the plasma membrane another is nucleus and third one is cytoplasm now all these we will discuss one by one so this is the practice questions which are given for you 
that you can go through and try to solve next we have the basic component that is cell membrane cell membrane is also called as plasma membrane or plasma lemma keep in mind this is the other name plasma lemma and it is a limiting boundary of each cell which separates the cytoplasm from its surroundings cytoplasm is the jelly like substance in which all the cell organelles are present and it separates the cytoplasm from the environment from the surroundings and it is present in both plant and animal cell outermost covering of cell in case of animals and lies below the cell wall in case of plants in animals it is the outermost covering whereas in plants it is present below the cell wall because cell wall is not present in animals animal cells does not contain cell wall and it is made up of proteins and lipids that plasma membrane name was given by nagili it is selectively permeable in nature because it allows or permits only the selected material to move in and out of the cell singer and nicolson gave the fluid mosaic model of plasma membrane which i am sharing with you this is the structure of plasma membrane it is flexible can be folded broken and reunited you can see right this is the structure of plasma membrane outside the cell inside the cell functions of plasma membrane functions of plasma membrane as we know that it is outermost covering so it allows the movement inside and outside so it regulates the movement of molecules secondly it helps in maintaining the distinct composition of the cell transportation of molecules also take place across the plasma membrane now the transportation of molecules across the plasma membrane can be taken by two ways one is diffusion another is osmosis what is diffusion diffusion we have already discussed in chapter 1 also so movement of solutes or ions from higher concentration to lower concentration it is known as diffusion it does not require any energy therefore it is called a passive transport osmosis is the movement of solvent or water from higher concentration to lower concentration through a semi permeable membrane that is known as osmosis in this case the water from lower concentration to higher concentration can also move so that is known as osmosis osmosis can also be called as diffusion of solvents endosmosis movement of solvent into the cell is called endosmosis and movement or you can say and movement of solvent outside the cell is also called endosmosis on the basis of this osmosis we can divide the solution into three categories one is isotonic another is hypertonic and third is hypotonic iso means same so when the concentration of the solution outside and inside that is equal then there will be no movement of the particles though no movement of the solvents no movement of the ions then it is known as isotonic hypertonic when the concentration of the solution outside the cell is more than the inside of the cell then we can say there is a movement due to this cell loses water outside concentration is more than inside so from lower to higher it will move and it will be becomes plasmolyzed hypotonic when the concentration of the solution outside the cell is lesser than that of cytoplasm of the cell due to this cell swells up and bursts so on the basis of this you can categorize three next is cell wall which we have already discussed and it is present in only plant cells it is not present in animal cells outermost covering of plant cell absent in animals rigid strong porous thick and non living structure made up of cellulose and functions are provide definite shape because it is very hard provide strength permeable and allows entry of molecules of different sizes antigen specific and has characteristic of repair and regeneration so these are the characteristics of cell wall nucleus we all are familiar with the nucleus this is the structure of nucleus you can see chromatin 
न्यूक्लियर पोर न्यूक्लियर मैम्ब्रेन न्यूक्लियोलस न्यूक्लियो प्लाजम सो वी नो दैट न्यूक्लियस इज नोन एज अ ब्रेन ऑफ द सेल मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट सेल सेल ऑर्गेनल विच कंट्रोल ऑल द सेलुलर एक्टिविटी हेडक्वार्टर ऑफ द सेल इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड डिस्कवर्ड बाय रॉबर्ट ब्राउन इन 1831 well defined nucleus is present while in prokaryotes it's absent prokaryotes contain a primitive nucleus double layered covering called as nuclear membrane nuclear membrane has pores which regulate the movement of materials besides nuclear membrane nuclear also contain nucleolus chromatin material and the substance filled in the nucleus is nucleolus chromosomes are also or chromatin material consist of dna which inherited the characters from the parents to their young generation so functions of nucleus it controls the metabolic activity of the cells and regulate the cell cycle it also help in transmission of hereditary characters from parent to offspring so very important component of the cell that is nucleus right structure of nucleus we have to learn it very carefully so these are the tangled thread like structures are chromatin fibers this central dense part in the nucleus is nucleolus and these pores which you can see these are known as nuclear pores and the boundary boundary of this nucleus is known as nuclear membrane and this liquid like substance dots which you can see in which chromatin fibers are present and nuclear nucleolus is present that is known as nucleoplasm right it is all for today thank you